Hey Wargamers, Leland from Aegis Brand Studios here today and uh, I'm just going to share with you a very quick uh, painting tip here uh, with uh, Sisters of Battle being uh, some of the new hotness that's on the Warhammer scene uh, ever since they got their re-release back in November. Uh, I've been seeing a lot more people painting Sisters and as a result been uh, seeing a lot of people trying to uh, paint the white hair on Sisters as well. So I'm just going to share with you a very quick method of getting the uh, the white hair. I'm going to use uh, Stern here to, to give me a hand with that. And it's, uh, it's actually very quick, very easy to do. And uh, it's just a couple steps. So you can see that it's already based. And what I've done is I've actually based it with uh, Celestra Gray here. And that just creates kind of a nice, uh, a nice starting point for the, uh, for the hair. Gives us something to work with. Uh, so next up, what we're going to do, and I'm just going to move my palette into the into the uh, scene here. Next up, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a little bit of the Space Wolf gray uh, contrast and we're just going to, we don't need a lot, we're just going to put a little bit down there, uh, just like so. And uh, just be careful you don't dip your hand in things like I just did with my stuff. Then we're going to take a little bit of the contrast medium. There we go. Sorry, trying out a new method here. So I apologize if things get a little bit blurry. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of the contrast medium to it. I'm, I like to do sort of a 50-50 uh, type stuff. Because uh, what you want is you want the medium to be nice and thin. You don't want it to be overpowering at all. So just give it a good mix in. Give it a bit of a wipe down to see. So you can see there just how translucent it is. It doesn't, it doesn't create a lot of color at all. So that is exactly what we're going for uh, in this situation. So what you're then going to do, you're going to grab your, your model here and you're going to grab, uh, you want a brush that has a, that has a little bit of a, uh, a reservoir for, uh, for painting. So I, I like to use a bit of a layer brush here, just going to get some of it. And remember when dealing with the contrast paints, you do want to make sure you get a little bit more into it than you would with typical paints. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the focus here. And then once you have that in there, just give it a bit of a wipe down here. And uh, what you can do is you can always get in there. You can always clean up mistakes later. But the nice thing about using the contrast paints for this is that, uh, oh, getting blurry there, is that uh, because of the way they run off, you can actually get a lot of the finer, uh, the finer depth in it without having to work too hard on it. And there we go. So it's nice and quick. And uh, as you can see here, sorry again, sorry again about the uh, the blurriness here. I'm just trying this new new method of filming. So you can see there, as as it dries, what's going to happen is you're going to see the nice uh, the nice depth of the the blue in here. So we'll, let's just get rid of that. You're going to see the nice depth of the blue uh, in the hair. Uh, it's done a nice job of just kind of showing you the depths of everything. So what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly let that dry, and then we'll go to the next step. So next up, what we're going to do is we are going to take a little bit of uh, Ultwin Gray here and just going to give it a good shake. And we are going to add just a tiny, tiny little bit to our palette here, so right up there in the corner. And we're just going to thin it down just a tiny little bit using some water. Uh, you don't want it too thin because you don't want it to run too much. Uh, basically, what you want is... You're going to want the paint to uh, to be easy enough to work with, but not so thin that it's uh, it's going to run all over the place for it. So what we are then going to do is we are going to grab a nice thin brush here, and uh, I'm going to be using the the Artificer brush from uh, from Games Workshop because it's got the nice fine tip for me here, and we're going to take a little bit of the paint. So we're going to take a little bit of the paint here. And remember, you don't need a whole lot. And we're just going to start hitting the highlights. So you don't have to you don't have to do the whole thing here. Basically, what we're doing is we're just doing enough to brighten things up a little bit. So I'm going to get this done, and I'm going to show you the end result. So as you can see here, uh, what I've done is I've gone in there and I've left the uh, the dark crevices where the, the Space Wolf Grey contrast paint has gone into. Uh, there's still a little bit of the Celestra you can see, uh, and then the Ultwin just kind of brought it back up. And uh, it's all just 
it's a very quick way you can do it kind of uh, kind of quick and dirty um, and then of course what you can always do you can always bring it back up a little bit further with a little bit of uh, pure white in there uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be going that far in this case but there you go that is just a quick easy way of uh, painting white hair on your sister's battle model so uh, hopefully you uh, hopefully all of you found this useful as always if you like the video be sure to like and subscribe and as always you can find me on uh, various social media at Aegis Brand Studios and happy wargaming.